Hello everyone, this is Jozef Nagy here and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about how to open open foam cases in Paraview. I got several questions on this issue. There seems to be a little bit of confusion about dummyfile.foam, so I'm going to talk about that. So, in general, Paraview, if I just open it up, Paraview is a very general viewer it works if i just click here on open you can see here in the supported files you can open ansys files with it or if i just scroll down dyna 3d inside files fluent cases then lamps files Nastran files, Patron files, and of course OpenFoam. And if I go further down here, TechPlot, VTK, and, and even ProStar files. So this is not an OpenFoam specific software. And the point is that uh, because Paraview handles a lot of formats, you have to tell Paraview what kind of software you use. Like with a VLC player, you have to tell your VLC player if a file is an audio file or a video file. And you do that with the extension .mp3, for example, and then your VLC will know that this is an audio file. And with the extension .mp4, then your VLC will know that this is a video file. And this is the same for Paraview. So Paraview knows that you are dealing with an open foam case, like here, I have his, here my backward facing step case with a K epsilon model, as you see here, and I created this foam.foam file. And the extension.foam will tell Paraview that we are in an open foam case. And then Paraview will search through this folder and look for the mesh in constant and look for the time steps and the results within those time steps and we'll open them up and this refresh button here is nothing more than just deleting open scrolling down form that form apply nothing else if you click here refresh then open form will do the same it will look again for the mesh and your results and if you're making simulations and you finished with the first four time steps then you can open up Leave it here in Paraview, go drink a coffee, half an hour later you come back and you have an additional four time steps, then you just click here refresh and then OpenFoam will automatically load all your eight time steps. And you don't have to click here delete and open and accept and apply. And this is very handy if you have a huge mesh and Paraview takes a while to load the mesh. Okay, so this is the, the idea behind this .foam file. You can call it whatever. You can just call it, if I delete it, .foam, and I delete this, you can just call it whatever. You can call this file foam.foam or some something else dot foam okay i just saved this now it's not called foam dot foam but you can call this file foam dot foam or something else dot foam and this will also work click this okay apply very good so this is uh, the name is not relevant the dot foam is important but as I showed you in my case, in the t tutorial case for the K-Epsilon model, that there is this weird message and you have to circumvent this if you want to show the Epsilon value because here it has a problem with the Epsilon file, found duplicated entries. So for that you have to convert your results to VTK format with the command foam to VTK 
like this. And now I have this VTK folder. And here I have the results for my internal mesh. So these files correspond to the internal mesh if I click this. And then here I have the files for only a given boundary, for example, the inlet. And this would correspond to this if I only click inlet and then I only have the inlet. If you don't believe me, then I just open for open up, for example, the inlet. And this is exactly the same as you see. This is the inlet phase. I can open up the outlet boundary, which is here, or I can open up this, which is the internal mesh, everything. And then I can open up also epsilon, not only K, and open up also the velocity field. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about that. Paraview is a very general uh, software. You can use it for all kinds of, uh, of uh, softwares, uh, not only OpenFoam. And you have to tell a part of you which kind of case you are dealing with. And in this case, we are using open form and you do this by putting this dot foam extension at the end of your dummy file. Okay. So at this point, I would like to stop recording now. I hope that you enjoyed this quick tip video and that you learned something and that now you know what you do with this dummy file. I would like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.